my name is Juan de la Garza. I pastor Iglesia del Pueblo here in Palmview, Texas. Right now, in the Hidalgo County, or let me put it in the four counties that we have in our area, uh, there's one thing that I didn't know, and uh, I'm going to share this with you because Catholic Charities uh, has been doing, I'm going to say, an awesome job through the years in this area, but the evangelicals have not gotten any involved, involved in many of the things that these people are doing. But because I was able to get involved with the Catholic Church, not only to help them with volunteers, but also to provide resources like food, clothing, uh, tennis shoes, uh, blankets for the children, but, but, but because we got involved with them, now they have opened their hearts to us. So because of that, there's shelters in the area where there's children that nobody has access to them but they do. Now, last week, I got a phone call from one of the ladies who's in charge of 37 jails and 12 shelters in the area. This lady called me and she said, Pastor, I've been watching you. I've been seeing how much you've been doing for us and how much you've gotten involved with Catholic Charities and how many times you've been in our shelters over here. This is what I wanna do. I wanna give you access I want you to provide me with three other people besides you so that you can come to these shelters where we have the children. These are children that are, uh, that are not accompanied by, accompanied by a parent and uh, uh, they're pretty much isolated. Uh, there's kids, very young kids, very, very young. In fact, I'll share a story with you. I was with uh, one of the, uh, the police chief here in Peñitas, which is about five miles from us and he was telling me a story a very very sad story about a little girl that they found uh, just across the river Peñitas and the river uh, I'm gonna say it's about three four miles so they found this little girl eight year old with a backpack and a phone number and uh, the coyotes told them that she was already in Houston to walk to the expressway and that was Houston to give that phone number to whoever she would find and they would communicate with the family member that she was looking for. But you're looking at an eight year old girl with a backpack and the only thing that she had was a phone number. The police chief found her, they brought her to the police uh, uh, department and they were able to talk to her. And the first thing that they told them, this is not Houston, this is the valley, this is the Rio Grande Valley. Houston is about six hours from here. So they were able to communicate with one of the family members and that's the end of the story. I don't know what happened after that, but we're looking at an eight year old. In these shelters, there's 12 of them here. They have eight years old, nine, 10, 11, 12. They have teenagers in that place, but they're very much isolated. The only people that can see them, the only people that can work with them is the border patrols. But now it's open to us. So hopefully within the next uh, two, three weeks, we'll be able to get in and also share the gospel. They're gonna allow us one hour a week to come and talk with them and share with them and pray with them. So we're very excited about that. 